some of the important points you have to note when you are connecting a fuse wire is first point is fuse wire wire of appropriate amperage should be used this is the first point you have to use that is amperage already you know what is amperage current already we have studied current is it what is the unit of current ampere so the current measured understood all so what is meant by amperage you are going to study it is the ratio of amperage means a ratio of power supplied in a certain voltage power supplied in a certain voltage or we can write it as amperage is equal to power divided by voltage when you supply certain voltage what will be the power understood ratio of the power supplied to the appliances understood what will be the power in a certain voltage that will be the amperage amperage is equal to power divided by voltage the ratio of power supplied to the appliances in a certain voltage so amperage is equal to what power divided by voltage what is the unit of power already you know that unit of power is watt so here you can write watt like amperage here what will you write here wattage divided by what is the unit of potential difference or voltage here it is voltage you can write amperage is equal to wattage by voltage on next step you can write it as i is equal to p by v this formula you can use it so why did i teach you all this in a fuse wire how many appliances working at home according to that each room suppose you have one room you have more than one appliances how much power will be for each appliances they will be calculating in that certain voltage how many power will be in that certain uh, in which the uh, appliances work understood so based on that they will be calculating and the current which is allowed to pass through it also will be calculated and they will be introducing the fuse according to that amperage understood so if it is exceeding that maximum limit what will happen if it is exceeding that maximum limit what will happen there it will break the circuit understood so that is called as amperage fuse wire of appropriate amperage should be used that is why we have to use fuse wire of appropriate if it is exceeding that amperage or if it exceeding that current what will happen to the fuse wire it will be breaking so this is a one important points you have to note when you are using a fuse wire next thing which you have to is fuse wire when you connect correctly it should be connected at the fixed points like this it that is correctly it should be correctly connected at the two points you can see one point here another point here is it it so correctly at that you have to tie the fuse that's all then this wire should not project out second point is this fuse wire should not project that is if you completely close like this it should not come out any wire should not be coming out of the fuse understood all this we have to take care 
these are the precautions taken while you connect a fuse wire so first thing fuse wire of appropriate amperage should be used second point two fixed points correctly we have to connect the fuse wire and third point when you connect the fuse wire it should not project out of the fuse understood so these are the important precautions which is to be taken did you understand children i hope everyone has understood about what safety fuse which effect it is working what are the peculiarities of fuse wire how it is protecting the circuit how it is acting as a safety measure then what are the important points noted while you are connecting a fuse wire understood yes i think all of you have understood